Hey guys, this is Jeremy with First Southern Baptist Church in Liberal, Kansas, and I'm excited to share a worship thought from God's Word with you today. I recently acquired a new bracelet that has these words on it. It says, Po Buddies Nerf It. And I kind of I, I kind of love it because even the phrase nobody's perfect messing that up and flipping that around we know that that is true right I wonder if you thought back um, into your life when did that phrase nobody's perfect become a reality for you you know there are times when we're younger that there are all sorts of people that we look to and we believe they must be perfect they must be infallible they don't ever mess up right but there comes a time when our parents let us down when the president of the united states makes a bad decision when a police officer is found to be guilty of a crime when a pastor is caught in an illicit sin that we recognize that there are no perfect people that the Bible is true that says all people sin and fall short of the glory of God right there's that moment in time where we recognize nobody's perfect or po-buddies nerfect and all that happens is we have to recognize that that's true of ourselves as well we fit into that thing of nobody right so here's my question for you as a Christian who's been called to love the world around you to love people that we come into contact with what does it look like for us to be loving to people who are not perfect who are less than lovable first um, Peter chapter 4 Starting in verse 7, Peter is talking to the church and he says these words. He says, The end of all things is near. Therefore, be alert and sober-minded for prayer. So he starts out by saying, The end of time is coming. Jesus is coming back one day, so you should be praying regularly. But then he says this, Above all, maintain constant love for one another, since love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining. Just as each one has received a gift, use it to serve others as good stewards of the varied grace of God if anyone speaks let it be as one who speaks God's words and if anyone serves let it be from the strength God provides so that God may be glorified through Jesus Christ in everything to him be the glory and the power forever and ever amen Peter is talking to the church he says when Jesus comes back one day the earth is going to end and everyone will go to heaven or to hell. So what should you do with that knowledge that the end is near? It is coming one day. He says, pray. And then he says, be constant in love for one another because love covers a multitude of sins. And then he says a couple other things. He said, if you're gonna talk, speak the words of Jesus. If you're gonna serve, don't serve out of your own strength, but serve out of the strength that God provides you. So if you're gonna love people who are unlovable, if you're going to believe the best about people who aren't always doing the best, he says, don't do it in your own strength. Do it in the strength that God provides. Love with the words that Jesus loved you with, that while you were still a sinner, Christ died for you to make a way. That's how we love people who are not lovable. We don't do it in our own strength. We do it in the strength that God provides so that God is the one who gets the glory. So the next time you run into somebody who's being a little less than lovable that day, Maybe believe the best about them. Tell yourself that nobody's perfect, and love with the love that God gives you to give out. Because God is the one who gets glory when we love people who are less than lovable. That's all I got for you today. Remember, nobody's perfect. Not even you. We'll see you next time.